literally so busy. I was like, what in tarnation? So me and Madison are at Savon right now at the grocery store and we're just about to go in to get some ingredients because first of all, we want to make this pesto pasta thing for dinner tonight. And second of all, I really want to make gingerbread cookies and decorate them. I don't think I'm going to be able to decorate them tonight because I'm going to like this work Christmas party thing for Oasis. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the dough so that I can like cook them and decorate them tomorrow or within the next few days because the dough needs to be like chilled anyway. So I don't really have time to wait for that so I'm just gonna go get like molasses and all that stuff but yeah I haven't made gingerbread oh I need the cutout too I didn't even realize that yeah. hopefully they have cutouts actually it's fine if they don't because I can just get them tomorrow but yeah maybe I'll just make the dough today and then do them tomorrow I found this really cute inspo pick on picture on Pinterest that I want to like that gave me inspiration for this um and yeah I haven't made gingerbread cookies in so long and Joel's literally obsessed with gingerbread like he literally loves it yeah he ate my gingerbread house yeah, he literally ate the gingerbread house that we made. That I made. That Madison, Madison did more eat in. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to make him some gingerbread so. cookies so he can stay away from the rest of the house. But anyway, so we're going to go grocery shopping. Also, it's sunny today. The weather has been so weird. It's been like snowy, sunny, the snow melts. I don't know. It's really weird and bipolar. But anyways. Let's go. Currently trying to find the molasses. I have no idea where I would find that. I don't think I've ever used molasses. Like I've never been made gingerbread from scratch before. So this is my first time. This is my first rodeo, you guys. But I have no idea where to even start looking. I'm in like the baking aisle and I have no idea where the molasses would be. Huh? Yeah, unfortunately they don't have the gingerbread men cut out, but I feel like this one be sold out everywhere, which is not fun. Maybe they'll have it at the dollar store. I'll look tomorrow. Okay. So they, this is what they have. But this is like not Christmassy, you know? This is just like heart and just like regular cookie cutouts. They'll probably have it at the dollar store, so I'll be Gucci. Okay, update. Madison found the molasses. I don't know if this is the right one, but it says cooking, so it should... Oh god. This is... <laughs> what? How did that happen? You put all the heavy stuff on that side. So, I don't know if this is the right one, but we're just gonna go with it because it says cooking, so I'm just gonna trust that this is the right one. So there's like three different types, but whatever. Okay, so here's what we made for dinner. This is literally the best, it's cold, but it's the best like pasta, I guess you can call it like a pasta salad. Um, so basically what it is, is we put homemade pesto with arugula mixed in with chickpeas, tomatoes, and shrimp. And it is literally the best thing ever. It's honestly pretty easy to make, but you have to make it with homemade pesto or at least like a really good pesto or else it won't taste like the same. But it is literally one of my favorite dishes ever. It's so good. And it's super easy to make and healthy. Hey guys, so I'm currently doing my makeup because I'm going to, like I said before, the Christmas party that the company that I work for is having. So I'm just getting ready. We're gonna be leaving in about 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna do like a light, you know, my everyday look, honestly. I'm not gonna do anything special because whenever I go above and beyond with my makeup, like if I ever wanna do something like add eyeshadow or you know what I mean? Like anything that's like a step up from what I do every day, it like stresses me out. It takes me 10 times longer to do my makeup um, than it should. So we're just sticking to the basis that I always do. Um, I've been really loving this Merit um, it's like a foundation stick, but it's not a high coverage foundation at all. It's honestly like really just like sheer and I honestly love it. This is their brush as well. Like I love, <laughs> I love Merit Beauty. I'm just buffing it in with a brush. I've honestly been really into using brushes lately as opposed to like a beauty blender because my beauty blender is kind of getting really nasty. Like I need a new one, but I really like my beauty blender right now is orange and I really want to get a black one just because like I feel like when you have a black beauty blender, it doesn't like get as dirty like or at least you can't see the dirt as all because like my orange one looks so nasty. Anyways, 
So I actually didn't have time to make the gingerbread cookies because we came home from Savon and then after that we made dinner and then now like I already have the candy. Honestly, time flies by so fast. I thought I would have time to make the dough, but I don't. So I'm either, honestly, I might make it when I get home tonight if I don't get home too late, but I'm, honestly, I'm probably going to be too lazy to do it tonight. So maybe if I do it tomorrow morning, like I'll wake up early, make the dough and then I'll chill it and then I'll go out, get the cookie cutters and yeah anyways honestly today like if i'm being completely honest i was not feeling it i'm getting my period in a couple of days i'm not exactly sure like when it's gonna come but i have like the pre-symptoms and i've never gotten like symptoms leading up to it this bad like i'm not even kidding you i woke up and i felt fine but then i as soon as i like, got out of bed and went downstairs i just like was not feeling good like i've never felt this feeling before like it was horrible and i was like oh shit did i get my period but it didn't even come yet so i'm just like what the hell so that really sucked and i just like had to like lay down because i was not like i was feeling just really weird like i don't know how to describe it it was like really painful but not like my usual period cramps it felt like i don't even know you would only understand if you've like felt it before but it was just like not fun at all so i didn't really do much today like i went to the grocery store pretty late because i just was not feeling good i just realized like i honestly like don't go out anymore like at all and i was like why don't i like and i don't even like if you guys notice like i don't really hang out with any of my friends because to be honest like i don't really have like dare i say any friends that i hang out with on a day-to-day -day basis like i have like a couple close friends and that's it like i have like a lot of people that i know and that like i'm friends with but like not close friends where like we would hang out so it's like i don't know like the only friends that i have honestly they're busy and they're in school like the two friends and like that like literally leaves me with nobody to hang out with to be honest like literally like, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Like, I'm just, like, stating facts here. Like, I haven't hung out with a friend, like, outside of, like, set and stuff for, like, a long time. Like, I don't even remember when the last time was. So, if you guys, like, notice, I'm always with, like, my sisters or, like, just alone or with Joel. It's because I literally don't have, like, any other friends to hang out with on a day-to-day -day basis and stuff. Which is fine. You know, ever since I started working out, I mean, working on set, it's been, like, fun to, like, talk to more people and, like, make more friends but it's like those types of relationships it's like you don't it's just like you're friends but you don't actually like it's not like a close friend where you like you hang out with who you hang out with every day so yeah i just want to normalize that like just because you don't have a lot of friends doesn't mean that it's a bad thing you know it's like it's okay like i'm honestly don't mind it because like i love working on myself and i love focusing my energy on myself as well and like putting it like into my work and focusing like on the grind you know um so like i have no problem with it but yeah i just wanted to talk about that like not having a lot of friends it's it's okay like <laughs> let's normalize that no friend gang or i should say i have no friends but barely any friend gang so yeah if you guys have noticed in the vlog that like I don't really hang out with anybody because like i don't have friends <laughs> so there's your answer <laughs> so i just wanted to quickly talk about this netflix series that i finished um a bit ago actually and it's called made like m-a-i-d um so not like m-a-d like it's a maid um and it is so like i really enjoyed it i feel like it's not like the type of show that's for everyone because it's like I don't even know how to explain like the genre of it, but it's very like like heartfelt. Like it's a basically like the storyline is about a young mom who has a young child and she's trying to get herself out of like an emotionally abusive relationship and it's so good. And like she's also broke, so um it's like a journey. Like it takes you along her journey and it's like it made me cry at the end. Like so like oh like heart-wrenching i love it like it was such a good series like i couldn't stop watching it so if you guys are looking for a new series to watch on netflix you should watch it also the girl in it is such a good actress the girl 
Alex and her mom are actually like mother and daughter in real life, which is crazy. And they play mother and daughter in the show. So I actually had no idea until after I watched it. And then like I was watching interviews and stuff. And then I found that out and I'm like, that's crazy. If you guys are looking for a new Netflix show to watch, 100% recommend. Okay, I think, what time is it? Oh God, we gotta leave soon. Shit, Joel's gonna be mad at me. So if you guys didn't know me and Joel actually like, well, okay, I do video editing for them. They're called Oasis Adaptogens. You guys should go check them out. So I actually video edit for them and Joel like actually like hands on like works for the company. Yeah, so fun fact. Anyways, I've been talking way too much. So I'm just gonna time lapse the rest of my makeup because I've been getting comments like you talk a lot. And it's like, girl, if you don't wanna watch me, then don't watch me. You can also put my videos in two times speed. My hair is honestly like kind of greasy and I would dry shampoo it but Madison literally goes through a bottle a day of dry shampoo and uses the whole bottle. I bought a bottle for myself because I was like, I don't want her touching it because she literally uses dry shampoo like water. So I was like, I don't want her touching the bottle. So I bought my own bottle, put it in the bottom of my counter. I'm like, okay, this is my bottle. Like she's not going to touch it. I can like, when I, whenever I buy a bottle of dry shampoo, it lasts me like a long time because like I don't use it that often and like, you know, it lasts me a long time. And so then one day I go to use my bottle of dry shampoo and I'm like, where did it go? And it turns out Madison used the rest of it. The rest, it was like a quarter of a bottle left. Like there was a good amount left that could have lasted me a couple of, a few days. And she used it all. She's literally a dry shampoo hoarder. Like I'm not even kidding you. And I don't think it's normal to go through dry shampoo the way that she does. It's definitely not normal because I know that she has like, she's like naturally really like silky, like sleek hair and gets greasy fast. But like, girl, please do not touch my dry shampoo. Anyways, yeah, we're literally out. So I'm just going to have to deal with my greasy. I have like a tiny bottle, but I don't like using this one because I would like to save it for when I... Okay. That'll do the trick, hopefully. Anyways, I'm going to wash my hair tonight, so whatever, but... Makeup done. Oh god, we're running out of time. Um, let's do a little baby wipe on my pics with some deodorant, and then we're gonna pick out an outfit. I have no idea what I'm going to wear yet. Wipe that sweat off. Beautiful. Pits are washed. Okay, time to pick an outfit out. Let's go. Okay, so here's the fit that I decided on. I'm just wearing princess. Polly, these are like one of my favorite pairs of pants. They're just like, you know, really comfy but really cute. And then this is just a white basic turtleneck and it has like an open back, which is so cute. And then just the Aritzia puffer over top because it is literally freezing outside. Um, I'm honestly pretty sure it's gonna snow tonight, so that would be cute, so I hope it does. Um, and then we have this Madison's purse that I've been wearing every day. Um, she thrifted it and I'm obsessed with this, so I literally steal it from her. And that's a little fit. Let's go. tested for um because i'm working tomorrow and i made the gingerbread batter it is chilling in the fridge and it has to chill in the fridge for three hours so that's why i did it like first thing in the morning and now i'm just gonna go get tested and then i'm gonna come back and shower and then i'm gonna bake the cookies and yeah on the way home i'm getting gingerbread men cutouts because i don't have any so i'm gonna stop get that in icing also um but yeah so i can't wait to make them it's also snowing, so it's a vibe right now. Um, anyways, I'm driving, so I will see you guys later. Guys, I 
on the cookie cutout. These are so cute. This is literally perfect. And they're only $3. I'm so excited. I still have to stop at the store to get icing, but these are so clutch. So I'm thinking while I'm here, I should probably get the snowman and the snowflake. Because I want to make sugar cookies eventually with um, me and my cousin want to do it. So might as well just pick them all up at once because I feel like I'm going to use them anyway. So yay! I feel like last time I couldn't find any cutouts, so this is so nice. You guys, the dollar store was literally so busy. I was like, what in tarnation is happening? Like, there was just people everywhere. Like, the checkout line was actually long. And I was like, why? What? Okay. Now I just have to stop at the grocery store. Why is the lighting like this? Um, to get the icing. And then we're Gucci to go home and bake the cookies. I'm so excited. Okay, so here's everything that I got from the dollar store. I got these cute little boxes, so if I want to bring some cookies, because we're going to Joel's tonight for his sister's birthday, so I'm going to bring some cookies, and I decided to get these little boxes for if I ever want to give anyone else some cookies, because they're so cute. And then I got the gingerbread men, I got randomly just some like stickers to put on gifts, because I don't think we have any right now at home, so I just got these, and then I got some snowflakes snowman and then from the grocery store this is what i got i got this cookie icing and it's just white and it has like a tiny like tip to um like make little designs and stuff so this is perfect and we're gonna bake them right now okay so i just took the dough out of the fridge and there's like one more of these in there so it says to like put some flour on the counter and i'm also going to be using the medium size because there's large medium and then small so i want to make them all the same size or else they're not going to like cook evenly and it's going to be harder so I'm just going to do one size um, and I got to roll it out to a quarter inch. I have no idea what that looks like, but we're just going to guess. I have no idea how many cookies this even makes, so we're in for a surprise. This side looks more like quarter inch. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, got the first batch done. We made them about half, I mean a quarter inch. And we still have this to do, but I think I'm gonna get these in the oven first and see how they cook. <gasps> They're ready. So cute, oh my God. Oh my god, look at these babies. Into your little stupid thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome for that, actually. Oh my god, so cute. Okay, so my hair kind of dried because I was just doing my makeup because I have to leave soon because we're going to Joel's house for dinner. And I'm going to decorate the cookies now. They're out of the oven and they're like cool. So we're going to decorate them now. This is my inspiration pick. So I just bought white icing, like I said. So I'm just going to do like really simple. It's going to be like really easy. So it's not going to take me long. Um, so yeah, I think these are so cute and it's going to be fast. Okay, so here are the final gingerbread men and women. How cute are they? Um, I just had the time to do these six because these are the ones that I'm going to be bringing to Joel's. And I still have, honestly, so many to decorate. So I think I'm just going to do these tomorrow. Actually, I might not have time tomorrow, but tomorrow or Saturday. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to do them all. Just don't have time today. But yeah, I honestly love the way they turned out. They're so adorable. I will link the recipe that I used down below. I've never really made gingerbread before, but I, I tasted this one and it's really good. So if you guys want to try it out, then I'll have a link down below. And the only thing that I substituted like in the recipe was instead of putting real butter, I substituted it for vegan butter, but that's all that I changed. So yeah, so cute. 
so this is the box that i got from the dollar store i just like assembled it it kind of reminds me of a timbits box which is funny i don't know if this is going to be big enough but we're going to try i think this is like the smallest size actually that came in the like pack of boxes they fit perfectly how cute so i picked up this little um wine glass a while ago i saw it at chapters indigo and I thought it was perfect for Joel's sister because it's her birthday if I didn't mention that already. And she's a nurse and this says because work. So I think this is like literally perfect and it's so cute. So perfect little gift. I'm just going to wrap it right now. We don't have anything except for Christmas paper wrapping. So this will have to do. But honestly, this is not too Christmassy. It kind of looks, looks like a mix between birthday and Christmas. So it's perfect. Okay. Okay, guys. So we just left the house and I just tried the... I just tried one of the gingerbread cookies and they're so good. Joel tried one too. Joel, what do you think? I don't want my camera. Joel, what do you think? They're really good. They're so good. So, yeah. So, anyways, I'm just going to end off the vlog here because I'm going to st be starting a new vlog like tomorrow. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is my version of Vlogmas. I'm trying to make the videos a little longer, you know for a vlogmas but anyways hope you guys enjoyed it i love you guys thank you so much for watching literally every view every like every comment means the literal world to me like you guys don't even know like it helps me out so much so thank you so much for just like if you're at, watching this right now i literally love you thank you you guys are literally all my best friends um literally. and i'm literally so thankful anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace out